Welcome to week 12. Let's do this. Welcome to week 12. Let's do this. If more time is not the answer, what is the answer? Yeah, you guessed it. Get stuff out of your head. Process it. Is it something you can do right away? Do it right away. If not, can you delegate it to somebody else? Can you defer it to some other time? If so, create a pile, put it in the calendar, give it to somebody else. Otherwise, continue organizing it. Put it into your next action pile. This is all the stuff you need to do. Everything in life is actions and next actions and so on. If it's too big, you know, the next action is usually, you know, five to 15 minutes. Um, something, you know, small enough that you can do in a, you know, a single, you know, chunk of time. A project is a collection of next actions. So all projects you get need to be broken down into next actions. Maybe it's something you're waiting for. So it goes on a calendar or goes into a pile where you'll look at it once a week to make sure that, you know, if you still need to wait or do something. And maybe it's something you want to do someday, but you're not really sure. So someday maybe is just all those really great things you capture in your imagination that you don't want to forget. So you put it somewhere that you know you can check on a regular basis to see if it's the time to work on it. Then you review every week, do a weekly review. Okay, and we're going to do that in class each week. And you could do that on your own as well. And then you do stuff. Okay, that is the answer. Thank you for being here. Week 12. We're going to do three things. Fill in a GTD update. Fill in what you want to do. Both those are in discussion boards in the week 12 folder. And I want you to use your GTD this week, either Trello or whatever other system you have, to get stuff done for my class or for any other class. We really don't have any other work. So, all right, what does it mean to have workflow? Well, in, in this class, we participate in the daily meeting, copy and paste the weekly blog outline, work in the imaginary rooms within the blog, and then we publish the room work in the blog post or wherever it instructs us to do that. Do you like that layout or this layout or this layout or that? Yeah, I had to go there again. I, I can't help it. All right, let's review. Check in every day. Um, GTD review. Okay, it's one of those things where we want to have a mind like water. Mind like water. What does this mean? Let's take a look. Oh, it was ready. We go back to our matrix and say, look, if I had just the right amount of perspective and just enough structure, just the right amount so that I've got the stability to focus on that and then to execute on it, now you're in the captain commander modality, which, by the way, is very cool because that's the place that you're then going to be able to engage with life and your creativity in what it's designed for, which is using your creative, intuitive intelligence you know, into new frontiers. You're going to much more be in your zone as a normal state as opposed to an exceptional state. And you're going to be a whole lot more capable of dealing with surprise and change as it's coming at you. And by the way, it's coming faster and faster. That's what's new about the world is how frequently everything is. Being ready for that. Basically, I refer to it, I use a martial arts term, as mind like water. A body of water responds to physical forces around it totally appropriately. It doesn't overreact, doesn't underreact. You throw in a pebble, it does pebble. Back to calm and ballast again. You throw in a boulder, what does it do? It does boulderness. It does it very dispassionately. It doesn't tense up before the rock hits it. It doesn't get all mad at the rock for having disturbed its calm life. Back to calm and ballast again. Now, out of these you know, metaphors from nature, I've got a couple of lessons I've learned. Lesson number one is, hey, folks, flexibility trumps perfection. Way, way, way beyond. And it goes further, but I just wanted to bring you back. We've already seen this. If you haven't watched it, it's in you know, LinkedIn Week 10 folder, uh, the whole presentation. But I think it's really powerful stuff. But the idea is, where are you now? Do you have a mind like water? If there's nothing on your mind because you're not worried about forgetting things because you have them in a trusted system, that's what you want. If you're feeling that you need to get stuff off your mind, that's fine. You put it, you capture it into your trusted system. Mind like water. Okay. Listen to this. This is what it is, okay? I said empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. 
it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Okay. Mind like water, be like water. Hey, look, it's a Trello board. You'll notice that if you copy the GTD template in Trello, it has that image as the background. That's not an accident. It's the idea of that's the mental state we want to be in. And how do we get there? It's through practice of getting stuff out of our head into a trusted system and then doing some rituals around checking it, organizing, breaking big tasks down into smaller tasks. If you master this process, you have a greater chance of having a mind like water. All right. Whoa, there's a spelling error there. Testimonials. Okay. Just remember that in the... Um, Templates, when you copy and paste them over, we have examples. And so I want you to know that Francis did a really nice job of explaining how the work that we've gone through to get us to the point is to help us be more organized, to have better ideas, to be more creative in the moment. So that was one thing she had mentioned in her blog post. But furthermore, and I want to read this to you, I loved when Alan talked about time and how when people say their issue is that they, quote, don't have enough time, they are, in a way, lying to themselves. For even if they did have time, without an effective GTD system in place, an entire extra two hours could be easily wasted. Whereas, two minutes spent with an effective GTD system in place could quickly alleviate stress and yield results. I found it funny that myself and so many others act as if time is the true criminal. Perhaps it is the true When it in reality, the criminal is ourselves and our silly unwillingness to prioritize systems over stress. Wow, powerful stuff. We want that for everybody. So just remember, I have examples in each class of things like that that students are reflecting. So the journey we're on is to become really masters of our own use of time. Time is not the answer. It's how we approach it and how we organize ourselves. Okay, reminder. Success is structure. Structures are the rooms in this class. It's about time and intention. The imaginary rooms are to intend us to focus on bigger projects into smaller chunks, AKA the rooms, and then set a timer and then work with the content during that room time. When the timer goes off, you're done, you move on. We will get better at being focused in these imaginary rooms over time, so don't feel bad, but just go through the exercise. It's about focus, one thing at a time, okay? Set an intention and a timer. Boom. This is a great timer, just a reminder. If you're not doing this, you are not serving yourself as well as you could. Remember, dopamine release comes from when you set a goal that is going to challenge you to get to where you need to go. So if you need to read an article, it's gonna take you 15 minutes to read, set a timer for 12 minutes and then focus and see how well it goes. Okay, it's when you set that goal that it starts to release and starts to give you that positive energy because it's helping your brain focus to get the thing done. Checking things off, setting goals, all these things activate the dopamine that help us um, become more effective within the time frames that we set for ourselves. Autonomy is what we're after. It's your how. You want to have control over your life. Your GTD helps you do that. Okay, time for a daily dose. Just a reminder about the four chemicals that can you know, help us be happy. And when you look at the number two stuff here at the top of this, remember that if you are suffering some of these things, what you can do is start working on the behaviors in number three to help alleviate some of that and increase your happiness level. Notice how exercise is repeated throughout these. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Okay, go to this website, check it out. Good stuff bananatreelog.com. Great stuff. And there's more things about brain chemicals and happiness and how to live a happier, more effective way of dealing with all the daily stuff that comes at us. Okay, now let's talk about this. Specifically, who are your dreamers? Well, let's talk more specific still. What do you want to know and be able to do and value by the end of this course? I want you to put that into the discussion board. Okay. And that is the name of the discussion board that's in week 
12's uh, school G folder. And I want you to update your GTD. Take screenshots, you could write words. If you don't want to take screenshots, you could write down what you're doing with the system, things that need to get accomplished. It is an intention for us to commit to each other that we are planning these things out. So I want everybody in class to see the work that we're doing to be better tacticianers with our use of time. And so whether it's a screenshot, a picture, or writing something out, that's what I'm after. Okay. Uh, Brad has a survey this week. Thank you for filling it out. Again, a reminder of the things we're focusing on this week. Any questions, we'll talk about in class. Thank you so much. Have a great week.